Grüezi and welcome back to Endless Space 2 with the Vodiani, where today we are starting to take the galaxy. We have a very strong foothold economically and I think it is time to really go for it. So, to start off, what I noticed is we have a fleet incoming to Lost and it is indeed a United Empire scout ship. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kindly ask them to remove that. Yeah, I opened this screen quickly before recording, so he greets me again. I don't think he's... he actually did. Wow, nice. So, the main reason why I even do that is to prevent the enemy from even seeing our systems. Because if they see a system, they can just like from any node literally just go there. Uh, so I don't want that. He's coming from, I think from the key he came from, probably, or, for, or even from further away. But yeah, so what I also noticed uh, pre-recording is that this scout is just sitting around. Now I wanted to actually see the galaxy, so even though we want to see the connection points, I have a fleet here that can do just that, so I really want this one going. And yeah, with that I think that's about this, the, that for this turn. I uh, don't really have anything else interesting here. Actually, we have a thing here, a curiosity, but we also have a scout on the way, so that's great. This is a military ship, leecher, 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 so yeah, we're good. We probably also want another leecher for Sable here, so that we can get that done. We'll do that once we have something to build, actually, so yeah, let's just get going. Ooh, election time. Uh, of course, the religious is just the best, um, in my opinion, it's the best political thing for anything that wants to go to war. Because Righteous Fury here, I don't know whether I showed this already, Righteous Fury allows you to attack and invade even if you're not officially at war. So I could just like here drop my peeps and get the system. This is insanely powerful because the enemy cannot do anything except two things. They can, let me just show here, they can close borders, which can be quite costly. They can also declare war and then try to get the truce out of it. Um, but both of those cost influence and um, depending on who you're up against, they might actually not have that influence. I played a multiplayer once with a really great player and um, I managed to like have a war for like 80 turns until he finally could force peace on me. He was playing a pacifist at that time and uh, yeah, it didn't really work out well for him. Alright, so did, we did get a hack done and I just will continue to get overseer points. As if I remember correctly, we're doing great for Overseer. Yeah, right. So we're just gonna continue doing that. Also, since we now have... Did we actually protect this one already? No, we did not. We should probably do that. Encrypt. Perfect. And I think we don't have anything... Actually, we could. We could do a lockdown on... Our capital. Let's do that. Just some added protection. This would just mean that in case anything would increase our hacking costs, it would, um, you know, make it a bit more annoying. Alright, so you arrived here, you can just continue. Actually, I want to see what's there. And then you can continue. Also, the scout arrived and you can now finally do this here. Nice, Quadrinix. Okay, now we should... I think I will just put it to explore. I think that's fine. Actually, wait. No, you will not do that. You will go here first. It might just be another Quadrinix or a Oracle 6. This one here. So, yeah. Um, we are getting Essence quite quickly. So... What is my battle plan here? So, what I think I could do is I could wait until I have, like, 
quite a lot of essence, then pull this arc back to Kras, for anchor it for a turn, make the new arc, and you know, then go back and just over this time increase the number of arcs. I think that's a great opportunity because we have a lot to leech from here, which will will just um, steamroll our economy, our military power, everything. These in the end are just my first attack force. These are by no means my final attack force. Actually, you know what we could do? Uh, he's outside of our territory, but we could assign our hero here. We have a second attack hero. Actually, speaking of which, I wanted to get a hero myself for ruling purposes, and I never bothered to do that. So let's see, these are for command, so we want to have wit or labor. So this one is 16. I usually go for like 1920-ish. As you can see, he has like 19 in these categories and 19 here. So this is like a very balanced hero. Not that great. Also, he's a seeker, which is usually more of a fleet hero. Again, seeker here. This is only 14, 17. Not very good heroes here, honestly. There's only seekers and... Guardians. Yeah, that's a bummer. I guess, I mean, Lumeris is still a very, like, system hero, but it's focusing on trade, which I'm not sure I'm gonna get into. The other would be the Umbra Choir, focusing on hacking stuff, also not that great. Really? We have bad luck here. Look at this one, 24 for fleet hero. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna buy one. This is just bad. Man. So, yeah, let's continue. Ooh, nice. So, as expected, we have some uh, connections here. Wow, that's not what I expected. Um, all right. This one was expected. I thought we'd have something from here, maybe, but then it's from Nalin. That means that technically Lost, as of right now, is not that dangerous. But we have seen Cravers, and since there's connections over here, I suspect they are right there. We have to keep an eye out, out on that. Um, I think I might make some more scout ships, because I think it's getting dangerous now. Um, but for now, I kind of want to go for um, the Sophons. Uh, what I intend to do is probably I will go... I, it's probably a good idea to now talk about victory types. So, the Vodiani can go pretty much in any direction. Um, I do feel like they are more likely to go for something like Supremacy, probably, because, listen to this one, you can just um, fly through the enemy territory because, you know, you can do that as a, um, what's it called, religious uh, party. You can then pick the home planet, invade it, put down an arc because any good at attack fleet has an arc in it, and then, you know, you've got a home system. You've got to do it seven more times, or depending on how many players there are. But uh, really easy to do. So I think this is what I'm going to aim for. Um, we will not have to be officially at war with anybody. So, yeah, they might not even really be able to stop us. And as such, I think I'm going to bring those guys over to Oyat. Um, but I do want some more leeching power. So we will get an arc next turn. So I'm just gonna bring this one back. It's a bit slow. Yeah, that's quite slow. But, you know, we might waste a little bit of essence. We also need a new technology. So since now we are kind of in the battle phase, um, I will go for more attack stuff. So let's see here. Do we get anything for arc bonuses? I think not. The only reason to pick those is for um, command points that we get from one of those here. Maybe this one here. No. There's one that scales with the number of ship types you've unlocked. 
per hull types on Empire. So yeah, this this one will get better if we just um, get the basic ones here, probably. Um, I might want to still get some um, coordinators. The Litum class is a terrifying ship. It's the best ship, the best coordinator type ship of all the factions. So I might still go for that. Uh, also, let's see here. I don't really need to influence the elections. I'm pretty good there. I don't really need to colonize toxic or pff, treaties, alliances. Who am I? A good guy? Um, right. So also nothing really interesting here, honestly, for me to take. Um, science is always an option. Faster leeching would be an idea. Actually getting the science up would also not be a bad idea. More curiosity power might be an idea. Actually, I think it's also time to finally get Hyperium in case we ever get any. So... And maybe some more into economy. We do have quite a good economy right now. But you never know. Also, I do want to have this. The better, so the more support slots and getting actually this module is great. Also, it's probably time for getting Adamantian because we do have a deposit. And getting two more tags here will unlock the next level, giving us a, a, a access to advanced system development, which is nice. Apart from that, I'm not really sure whether I need anything in addition, though. Uh, I could go for trade companies, but then again, I don't think it's really necessary. We do have quite good money right now, and I don't think it's going to change soon. So yeah, afterwards we're going to go for this. Better leech modules, even even better ones. And yeah, well, maybe this one first, because here's the thing. If we unlock the system development, we want to have access to more luxuries. And I think this is lux luxury tier again. So yeah, I want luxuries for better system developments. That was just the last tech. We did get a population bonus. In case you didn't know, having a certain number of populations gives you a population bonus, of which the first one is always more religious power and the following ones can give some great bonuses like five percent to everything more production and faster um i mean the hero recovery is in my opinion pointless because if you get your heroes killed you did something wrong but faster fleets is nice and this emphasizes our uh, goal to really go out there and and kill people basically all right and we did some things Fidis finished a specialization, which is nice. So yeah, we just keep on doing what we do. So yeah, more academy stuff. We found Auriga. Wow, a single planet system. This is rare. I've never seen that happen. Like for, for Auriga, usually it's just in a system with more planets. I think one planet system in general are very rare. Yeah. So, these guys are still on the way, this one is still on the way. Ah, uh, you want us to hack. Did I get- oh, I got the second hacking thing. So, maybe we hack the academy more? Since all the heroes on the market are bad, like, very bad, I think they still are. Yep. Um, might just try to unlock them faster. So yeah, we are now at the point where we probably don't even need to get more leeching. I think they all stopped anyway. Yeah, they stopped leeching. Actually, this one just arrived for the curiosity. And then you can continue here for this curiosity. What did you actually find? I think this, uh, yeah, Quadrinix. Nice. More population. Good, good, good. It grows now naturally, which is great. So, as expected, we got that done. Kras is now building a behemoth. Nice. And I think you just skip a turn for now. You should... I think I'm just gonna scan one, go the other. I kinda wanna send someone over here. We found, I think... Who's that? Orange is Horatio, okay. And, okay, Dark Red is Craver. 
So I expected them to be over here. Actually, instead, wow, that's a home system. Nice. Me wanty. Okay. So this is gonna be annoying to get, I guess. Because uh, cravers can be quite strong, and I think they are probably the ones that are doing great right now. Actually, not even that much. The Sophons are doing quite well. And the bright blue, which I still don't know who it is. And they immediately close borders, so we'll actually have to go for proper war with them. Interesting. So, um, with us here then, uh, probably scan here and go there. Because that means Craver Space is here. I don't actually know who is on this side. You can't actually move there. Ah, there we go. Alright, uh, you arrive next turn. What I will also do now is actually can I get a better law? I might get a better law. How's our happiness right now? It's pretty good. But there's not really any point anymore to run this one here. I think. Because I have good ways to do other leeching. We still have 57 from, I guess, the minor civilizations, yeah. So, what do we want instead? Um, moving points, not too bad. Or some dirty hands. Who doesn't like dirty hands? I mean, this has some use. This would also have some use, but I cannot support it right now. Let's go for dirty hands. It's also an indication that I should probably invest in some... Um, influence upgrades rather soon. Alright. Let's do this. So our essence is now maxed out. But we can buy an arc on this turn. Let's see who's here. Pirates. Not surprised. Oh, really? Yes, I'm going to retreat. Alright, so that worked. Let's look at our fleet while we're here. Close range kinetics. And these are lasers, of course. And we have lasers. And lasers and lasers. More lasers. Actually, no. Here we have kinetic weapons. No, how is it called? Missiles. Quite a mix. Honestly. I mean, the torpedoes shouldn't be an issue because we have defense ships. Maybe I should go for the cravers first because they can be a pain. I don't know. So we did get the behemoth module, which is great. We can just upgrade this one as soon as it's done. Um, actually, I can upgrade it now, the design of it, and then pay a little, little bit of money to fix that. So that's done, which is great. So more influence, but I think we have a second one that then also gave us influence. But most industry in a system, we actually have a good chance at that because this one is quite good. Actually, it's not even that great. Why is it not that great? Mm, Academy reminder, this is just uh, things running out, the bonuses. Who actually has the bonuses right now? Of course the Cravers have the fleet. Usually the Cravers get the fleet and then they, you know, just steamroll everybody. And it's over here. Bilgari, this is not a faction's home system, as if I remember correctly. This was our retreat, and we can now get more Overseer points. Let's do that. Also, Yisil finished construction. So we are planning to get the Adamantian pretty soon, so maybe now it's a good time to go for these two modules. This is my home system, right? Sistel. System, right? I think so, yeah. So this is still quite fast, that's nice, and um, yeah, for the rest we'll just keep going. You have a hero on luck, 
So there's basically two things one can do in this situation, since I just need one more point for going to the next ring, essentially. I can give the hero ship some shielding, or I can just get some um, Senate stuff, since right now this hero is actually our um, leader, um, political leader here. We get bonuses from him being in that position. So maybe I just want to go for that, more capacity for manpower, which is generally not a bad thing, uh, but it doesn't actually improve our fleet that much. But then again, hero shield capacity is also practically worthless, so probably we're just gonna go for that. And here we just get some more fleet health. I really need <laughs> to be able to give this guy a fleet. So let's anchor you, let's put... Oh, right, um, that was not the case, that used to be different. So I can actually upgrade the arc, but what I want to do is actually build an arc, and for that we have a look at the design here first. Come on. All right, let's just upgrade what we can, I don't know whether that did anything. Here, do we actually produce now? We do not. Actually, it doesn't even show us whether we do produce. But, I mean, it's just one, and... Did we have this here already? Maybe we had, we did, I don't remember. We do, however, have better beams. And I think we do still don't produce Hyperium. Um, is this worth it? Answer is likely not. So, maybe let's put in one, because it does give a debuff for whatever it hits. And it's not gonna hit multiple targets anyway, so... One is enough to get the debuff. And yeah, I think that's good. Nothing else really. Oh, wait. So here's the thing. Usually I create a second second design for different kinds of arcs. Um, but since it was kind of a weird situation for not quite knowing what I'm going to do with the arc, uh, I didn't do that. So now I'm stuck with it. what we have here. So I have one movement module. I will put in... Ooh, this would also be a great option. Yeah, I think I had that. Uh, defense module and a leech module. Maybe I'll take one sh one shielding out here for, for more leeching. Where's the leeching? Here. I really need more modules. Also weapons. I need more weapon modules on this one. Right now it's about as strong as a good um, medium ship, but it will get much stronger. So for ni right now probably the military behemoth is better. Actually not really. Let's just put you some more modules just so we can compare maybe. So yeah, more defense but not more attack. And the defense is probably largely from the weapon type. Let's just give him a different type of weapon. Let's give him the lasers. So, yeah, I mean, the arc is better than a military behemoth at this stage. This one has 29,000 health. This one has... Okay, health is lower. All right, that's a thing. But then again, I don't think that really matters that much. Maybe it does, I don't know. Uh, but health of that can also be upgraded later. And do remember, we soon unlock here the next one actually in two turns so we can upgrade the arc again there and get some more modules better modules maybe not better ones but more modules for sure and uh, yeah we need to build the arc here can I upgrade this I can cost just a very little let's do that okay another thing to note maybe now is I should potentially also invest in more population. Right now I have only three and I can have up to five, so getting a fourth on every planet might be a good thing to do. Also still need to get a leecher for Sable. Or Sable, or whatever. This one's still on the way. Alright, I think that's it for this turn, although someone wants to speak to us. The Cravers. Yeah, stop attacking me, mate. That's not cool of you. It's not like we do exactly the same, but yeah. So, actually, I think I will get evasion for our ship here. Not that it really matters, though, honestly. This one came from here, I guess. 
What is our second? Here it is. So you go there and then you can start exploring. Yeah. All right. We completed the abduction on Nalin. Where's Nalin? Ooh, already. Okay, so then you can go to Sable then. Disable Sable. Ooh, we ran out of... Um, what's it called? That one. Chaedonyx. Luckily, there's a lot of it very expensively on the market. So we need a 13. I don't actually know how much I have. I have 12, so let's just buy one. Although I do think it might get more expensive, though the prices are rather sinking right now, so I don't know. Yeah, so where was that? Here. Boop. Nice. Alright, so we don't have more science anymore. Sad. More hero XP or more happiness. Kras, I think, is happy already. And I think the threshold for ecstatic is 85. So that might actually not do anything. Let's give him more uh, XP. So yeah, we did not get that. That's sad. Uh, but now we can get this one here, which is also a great thing. Um, this is actually very good for the Vodiani because we only have original empire population. So that's that. Hero level up to at least level 11 should be something that we can easily do as well because remember we have the law that gives us more experience for heroes, so we should get that. Ooh, 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 we will not tolerate what? I'm not doing anything, mate. I'm not doing anything at all. So we did get a new arc, meaning, uh, I need to remember the name, Esta Sivora, very Italian. You will get out of here and... You will go back to leeching. And then we have the Cholonodi. You can now anchor and get me the upgrade here for making you stronger. Should I also get capacity? I don't think it's necessary. It will take a lot of turns, so probably not, no. Um, getting the first one to be Jadonix is great because then you can just plop it down anywhere you want, you want and, you know, get the upgrades for manpower. Really great. Um, Alright, you finished your job. Um, we will unlock this one, I think, next turn. Yes. So, putting this up to 5 would be a good idea. Potentially. And this is a 5 planet system so what I'm gonna do here is also this one here the intergalactic supermarket right it is and they're ecstatic so this one it is definitely as well so yeah you get some more things to build and still I can build the happiness buildings quite nice all right someone still needs to move it takes so long for these guys to arrive and you found an empty system. Do we have the Umbral Choir against us? It's not impossible. Because an empty arm could mean that it's the Umbral Choir. Or it's somebody who is kind of, you know, I don't know, locked in by something. So maybe the Unfallen locked in by pirates. Something weird like that. So you probe there, then you go here. All right. See, look at this, 21 population, they're crazy like that. We do actually, wow, that's an attack fleet. Uh, I don't think they're gonna reach us in time. So, yeah, they're just gonna be flowing in this direction, flowing, flying, and we're gonna de-anchor here, go back there, combine the fleets, and then, <laughs> then this is laughable. I mean, this is already laughable against our arcs. So, yeah... We get a new technology, as expected, the Adamantian. And a new system development. So, I will probably have to wait a little bit until we know other things that we could get. So, we do know of one instance of Giga Lattice, which is nice, not great. Um, 
Yeah, there's not really anything great going on here. We do have the option of getting blue cap mold for here, but it's gonna be very expensive. 60. And remember, we will need a lot of uh, the luxuries because we intend to upgrade our arcs for, for fighting also with that. It would be great to have a Horatio hero. Because they do give access to more luxury resources produced. But yeah, that's not the case. Still only Seekers and Guardians. I might have been in the market a bit late and they just bought everything. So you want me to scan the curiosity 600 dust for 80 influence. Not a lot, mate. Not a lot. I don't think that's gonna be worth it. Alright, we need to build some things. How is this going on? So you finished, you are the anchor, and come back over here. They're just gonna find an empty system. How sad. Alright, you do that. Do I want them to scan, to look over here or on this side? Honestly, here is likely just going to be Sophon space. That means that likely on... Although there's not an arm here. Maybe here is the United Empire. That means I need to find the home system of the United Empire. So you please... I guess I can bring you here and just, you know, put out some probes. Some feelers. Alright, Lost needs to do something. Nice, so this is a great um, technology. Uh, this is just 80 more production and at this stage this is kind of a big deal. So I'm gonna do that whatever I can. Uh, I will need to probably buy some titanium. I'm glad that this is still on the market. So that's that. Um, apart from that, not really else, much else to do for now. I thought I had a second planet to do some... Ah, oh, that was here, right. What did we find, actually? Orichalcix. Here, Nullin. It's very common for some reason. Usually you would only find, like, very few of that. Um, 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 what am I gonna do? I think it's just next turn, then. So, our attack fleet will now arrive in Nullin, and it's probably the last option to actually upgrade them, so let's look at our ship designs. Uh, still up to date as it looks. What about the rack? Also still up to date. Great, so you don't actually need anything. Maybe the hero? Yeah, hero need an upgrade. So I can also switch out to beams here and maybe give one Hyperion one each. And probably also fleet module. I think that's probably more useful than probes at this stage. Because that makes us a little faster. And I already complained about them being slow. So let's do that. And with that... Uh, you can get going. I think I will just fly to Oyat. And then once this fleet is here... I'm gonna bring my arcs over as well to join in the fight. I will not go out. You can forget that. We did get this one done. This is nice. That means we should now be able to find luxury resources. So actually you can just do that here. And I'm just have, gonna have to fly back and do it everywhere as well. Or, you know, I have a lot of money. Let's use our money. Ruins, atmospheric, and... Ah, uh -huh, that just completes. So, this one, and like so. Perfect. Um, do we have here? Yes, we have one. Ruins is not a really great type, though. I mean, usually it's... Um, oh, what am I doing? A... Life form or subterran or something. Did I actually get one here? I did not, so that's good. So I did that everywhere. Nice. Alright, we... Yeah, they're just backing out. Ooh. Monohull plating. Projectile defense, crew defense. 
honestly not that impressive. But better what we have already. We just need better shields at the moment. Our shields are on the weak side. Our economic behemoth just finished and that's a good time to now upgrade the design. So now we have five modules of plus 5% everything except for influence. So good timing, nice. And you are here and you get an upgrade. Not even that expensive. And as you can see here, we get a, a flat 50 and a big percentage bonus out of it. So this system is really going places now. You can see now um, the first one that has the fits percentage bonus shown, 96 bonus from that. And yeah, it's probably like in the 90s for these two and still pretty good on others. And at this point, I should probably also invest in population. So this is an important system for us. So we're going to do that here. And next turn probably in... F Actually, I can do it... No, I can't do it now. So this is also an important system because it does a lot of planets. Um, yeah. So maybe that's what we're going to do for a while. Get everything on four and then get back. I mean, these ones can start leeching now. At least one of them. So do that. It's going to be faster now again. And more overs here. Thank you. A skill point for our lower hero, just also more energy weapons. Alright, this is a scout here. Do I bother with the, uh, the curiosities? I think I do. They also got rid of the pirate system, nice. So yeah, there's three empty systems, that's kind of suspicious. But it's weird that we haven't been hacked yet because we are quite close to them. But maybe they're like crazily hacking the... Um, what are they called? Cravers. Because I mean, they have 23 population and I think it also matters. I don't remember. The population number probably matters there as well. So yeah, next turn we should discover a whole bunch of new um, luxuries, hopefully. And we need to hack. Where did we not hack? Here, I guess. Alright. NP artifacts for happiness. You know, I might be taking that because happiness can be quite an issue with the Vodiani later on. So let's just look through. We found nothing here. That's just completing things. So we found these NP artifacts. Nice. Yep, once. And. Radiation shield. Protects manpower. Don't care. Anti-shrapnel hull. Protects manpower. Don't care. We found... Ooh, sea artifacts. These are great. That's a tier 3 luxury. Amazing. We also found... Just... Uh, resources of that type. Yeah, now that ended and now we are negative on influence. So we need to do something about our influence as a next tech, I would suppose. So since we are happy right now, I think we're still happy. We could go for this one here. This just gives us probably enough uh, influence to run quite a few laws. And yeah, wow, we already get another one. Okay, so... Why did I not research this one? Oh, that's a quest one. All right. So you're an attack ship that is kind of out of place by now. So these guys arrive in the next turn. They need one turn to go over. So let's leech for one more turn here and then get going. You are a scout ship. You should probably go here to scout for that. And yeah, so let's see here. What do we put in our second thing? We don't actually have a deposit of endless foundries. Where are they though? Because I thought we did find one deposit of it. No? That's sad. Maybe we found a minor faction that does? 
So this 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 must be the Umbral Choir. There's no no reason that nobody's settling here. I'm actually surprised the Cravers aren't settling there. Yeah. So there's not really much in terms of these here. So I will put this one in for sure. And I will now also decide for another one. I will not go for these because I don't have access to that and I would only get one out of it. So maybe something that I just produce a lot of. Three, two, 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 zero, one. Wow. I mean, this just doesn't really have any bonus associated with it, really. I mean, food, all right, yeah, but... Come on. So the thing is, right now, we do not have the luxuries to upgrade the arcs for fighting purposes. We do not have any interesting luxuries to put into the thing. We also have no problem with max out population yet. So I will hold back on that for now. Until I have some better options, because this is really not that great. Okay, you continue leeching for one more turn, and then I'm gonna send you over. Ooh, somebody's hacking now. now. So this is a thing now. Oops, that was the wrong button. Um, remember when we had the 80 out of 80 allocated things? So somebody probably put a thing on Giselle. Or no, probably on Lost. Um, increasing our cost for things here. So maybe I'm just going to remove this one here. This is like very far away. Still too much. Let's take Kras out as well then. Dangerous, but you know, they probably have to go through Yizel anyway. And this one is rather protected. Uh, although they could go th through here. So yeah... The hack, I don't actually know from where the hack came. It went to Lost five, like for five turns ago. So, no, actually we know the tracking is going this way. So from Othero, might actually be the Cravers. Dude, the Cravers home system is rather close by. I could probably get a hack there by placing some nice um, back doors along the way and then hack their home system for stealing tech or doing something really bad to them. I think that might be a good idea. But first, let's resolve this one on, over here. I think I might just grab the home system and then go. I can't currently blockade the system. So maybe let's, let's distribute a bit. We should put some attack fleets around. So first let's put the hero in the fleet with the arcs. Uh, I want three defense ships over here. So one more. And that just leaves three attack ships. All right. So these here are kind of pointless now, but you know, they might get some use later. So the academy is over. They now want um, Adamantian. Wow, that's expensive. I don't think there's a lot of people who will be contributing a lot. And at this point, we might actually also go for the Spear of Asiander. Um, but I'm going to do that later when I see whether we need that or not. I'm going to consider once we have five turns left. Okay, apparently the Sophon wanted Sophons wanted to talk to us. And this event is also over, meaning we have less happy peoples now. We are in Fidis, they're only content. So we need to make do something about the happiness here. Alright, so I think I'm gonna prioritize the production here because that's 100 production. So one fourth of what we already have. And then some happiness. This will bring it back up to happy. Oh, the, the things changed because of the additional population we put in there. Right. Okay, so also in... Let's put some more population on Lost. Why didn't this complete? Weird. Um, 
and then in Yisil, or probably in Kras first. Actually, we already do that in Kras. Can queue that up as well. So yeah, Yisil is the next one to receive the leeching. We can leech here, and we will probably now attack the Sophons. They do have a big attack ship, which is a long-range missiles. Actually, okay, two of their ships have long-range missiles. I would suggest or assume that all their own ships have missiles, which means we're very light on defenses against that. So we might need some more defense ships, and it's also likely that we will lose one here. So the Orical 6 price increases. Alright, let's 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 beat the hell out of them. And they immediately complain before the battle even started. Actually, no, he complains about leeching. Weird. Okay, so we know they want to be long range, but I don't really know about the other ships. So this is their own. This is a beam one, so medium range. This is rather on the short range side although no this is also their own so range wise we want to be close range this is the most in my opinion this is the most important stat to display at which range do you have an advantage and this is clear short range so we want to be short range get some bonuses out of that so one thing also to consider they have three six seven eight nine command points to have ships in the third one here I'm not sure whether it says that. No, it doesn't. So, in order to have ships there, you need to have at least 10 command points. Meaning, this flotilla will be safe from enemy fire unless we lose the other, or the middle flotilla at least. So, I could put my small attack ships in this one. Um, I have two defensive ones in the middle, one defensive on the furthest one, as well as the hero ship. So this might go quite nicely, meaning this flotilla can shoot the middle one, this will shoot the middle one, and eventually... So this would, should kill the middle one quite quickly, leaving us this here, this fleet here, um, shooting at the first flotilla there. So I think that should go quite nicely. Uh, in, if the middle flotilla is destroyed, these ones cannot shoot anymore at the first one, so that's that. And I think this one might be interesting enough that we go and watch it, unless they run away, in which case, you know, sad. Uh, I should have activated that beforehand. So I want this one here and the here over there, alright. I guess they run, yeah, they run. Me, 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 don't attack us. Yeah, yeah, don't care. So you can scan an anom anomaly. Actually, can you know I already bought it? Okay, what now then with you? So there's nothing more to scan for you unless I could go back to Sabal and do that there. Curiosity count. What kind of curiosity? Ruins. So you'd find anomalies or maybe some loot. But I'd have to run all the way back. And I kind of still have a lot of a galaxy to explore. Let's, I will just go explore. Stupid and on. And ugh, curiosity. I will not care anymore. So you guys can now blockade the system. Um, the manpower depletion is not that good. But our leeching should pose enough problems that they will lose populations quickly. So this is 600, I actually don't remember how much uh, food that is. Also nice new things. So that is 60, 120 times 2, 240 food per turn leashed from the system. Now I can see that they have 40, 80, about 170 food. So it's actually not going to go that quickly. We need more leeching power, which we will have rather soon. So, potentially, we'll just um, kill the uh, what are they called? The Sophons, settle there, and then upgrade our, our ships. 
think that might be it. So yeah, we arrived here. I will send a probe down there and go over here. And I also saw... <laughs> Seriously, the academy is so annoying. The academy is just so annoying. Okay, next turn. Let's see what the galaxy has for us here. So we found these uh, things there. What did we find? Antimatter. Not that interesting. We did get another population. We found something. Okay, so this might have been the starting system of the Umbral Choir. Because they start in a special node, like something like that. So I am 90% sure we have Umbral, Umbral Choir. Which is annoying because they can be quite difficult to track down. Also, the um, Cravers are now expanding. Which was to be expected. And I will probably have to do something about that quickly. I found Orange. Who is Orange? Horatio. Makes sense. Wow, Horatio still survives against Craver neighbors. Impressed. They usually don't manage. We found ourselves some more hero points. Which one was that? The one up there. So now is the question. Should I try to hack the home system and I think the answer is yes. It has to be yes. The question is can I make it there? This is 12 turns, this is 18 turns. Six more turns. Maybe I shouldn't get greedy. But I'm gonna try it anyway. The other one was down there but first I have to do this here. Counselor. Actually, wait. No, I, had, I was going for Overseer. Damn it, I made a mistake. I think the number of points that I need is kind of increasing. So see, like, half the points we got are from hacking operations on the Academy. The progress is so slow for, for everything. We could attack these settlers here. I think I'm gonna do that. They're just gonna run away, but you know. Let's be annoying. Bye. <laughs> Don't attack us. Alright. Yeah, he just chickens out of everything. Who needs orders? You need orders. Why do we need orders? You are defending here. And we can also... We are at war. They are in our sphere of influence. Where? Must be up here then. Alright, so they're trying the same thing again as they did before. So, no thanks, you go away. Actually, I'm still surprised they actually do that. Because, you know, we are we were kind of annoying to them. Alright. So, yeah. We are going for the Sophons. And I think we are going to do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. And goodbye.